Performers acutely need but lack tools to rehearse and create live theater, particularly due to global restrictions on social interactions during the COVID-19 pandemic. No studies, however, have heretofore examined how remote video collaboration affects performers working from home. This paper presents the findings of a field study with 16 domain experts over six weeks, investigating how teleimmersion affects the remote rehearsal and performance of improvisational theater. To conduct the study, an original media server was developed for co-locating remote performers into shared virtual 3D environments, which were accessed through popular video conferencing software. The results of this qualitative study indicate that teleimmersive environments uniquely provide performers with a strong sense of co-presence, feelings of physical connection, and an increased ability to enter the social flow states required for improvisational theater. Improvisational theater involves real-time dynamic problem solving to collaboratively generate interesting narratives. Improvisers rely on constant verbal and visual feedback from scene partners and audience members to construct a shared reality. And it's through this feedback that improvisers can synchronize around invented relationships that appear so cohesive they lose their fictitiousness of time and place. When improvising remotely, the windowed interfaces of popular video conferencing tools are disruptive to performers who rely heavily on body language and a shared sense of presence to collaboratively generate stories. Virtual Director is compositing and video switching software we built to augment popular video conferencing tools with teleimmersive features to explore how seeing themselves inside a shared virtual space might affect the ability to improvise. A teleimmersive environment is generated by running scripts inside a programming environment called Touch Designer that we programmed to isolate individual video feeds from any conferencing tool. Our software performs background segmentation on the participant feeds, allowing players to be composited and positioned as two-dimensional planes inside a 3D environment arranged by an operator in relation to scenic elements that are in that space. Each object, including the performers, can be dynamically displaced, scaled, and rotated to simulate an appropriate sense of size and depth between performers and the environment, whether they are seated or standing or positioned in different proximity to their cameras. To conduct our study, we solicited a broad range of professional improvisers located across cities in Europe and North America. As a field study, our research was focused on tele-immersion that could be accessed by individuals at home who may have limited access to various types of hardware and software configurations and inconsistent access to internet services. The study was conducted during national lockdowns across Europe while strict social distancing measures were in place. And as a result, there was some variability in the frequency and duration of sessions, as well as the types of exercises and formats engaged by performers. On average, however, participants engaged in three separate two-hour sessions of tele-immersive improv activities and were surveyed before and after each session about their experience. A final exit interview was conducted and their answers were coded into emergent themes. All 16 participants described interacting in the tele-immersive space positively. Seven described how tele-immersion helped overcome difficulties experienced in earlier attempts to improvise remotely. One noting, it's been a lot of fun to play virtually in a way that I was really struggling with before. Explaining that with Zoom, it is difficult to fabricate a world that you're all supposed to be in when you're limited by the background of individual homes. A feeling of having a restored connection with remote partners was cited by 12 of the 16 participants. Five credited tele-immersion directly with an enhanced feeling of connection with their scene partners. I felt really together with my partner even though we were only together on the screen. Four identified how tele-immersion facilitated narrative cohesion. I find the scenic view, seeing the whole picture, helpful in making choices within the scene and also in using my body and physicality to enhance the feeling of connection and presence. The ability to be in the same virtual space as my partner allowed us to fully agree on where we were, and then we got quickly into the flow. Flow is a term used by improvisers to describe being so immersed in the scene, they lose track of the outside world. Three participants made direct observations related to a warping or losing sense of time and space. I forgot other things were going on around me, what the time is, or you know, where we are, how long we tended to be in this for. Often participants would be placed larger or smaller on screen than would be natural. Rather than feeling abstracted from their image, nine participants referred to feeling a greater sense of their body. Though most identified a strong sense of immersion and presence during the study, those feelings could get interrupted. Three described moments of being overwhelmed and confused by the environment. 
In conclusion, we observed that teleimmersion provided by Virtual Director was a highly effective solution for rehearsing and improvising performance while performers could not meet physically.